Welcome to Evo India's quick walk around video on the new Hector Plus. Now, this will look familiar and also not so familiar because MG have significantly updated the nose. So, on the Hector Plus, there is a new grille, there are new headlamps, there is a new DRL, and most importantly, all the chrome has been taken out. So, with this dark blue and the black of the grille, the nose of the Hector looks more decent to be honest. It does look much nicer than it was before. And these updates are significant. So, even the bumper is new. So, this entire front end is actually new. Over on the sides, well, here things haven't really changed. The profile of the Hector Plus remains identical to the Hector. These wheels, there are 17 inch wheels. 17 inch wheels are actually big wheels, but because of the styling of the Hector Plus and the Hector, the wheel arch gaps are really huge. And these wheels actually look quite small. They look undertired. Over on the rear, Again, the change is significant because that red strip connecting the tail lamps, that's gone and it looks far more decent. The LEDs are also new, the design of the tail lamps are also new. If you can see the indicators, that also works a little differently from the Hector. It still retains this internet inside badging which I don't really like and important to note, earlier we had criticized that the bumper, it had these two exhaust outlets. Now, it's sort of symmetrical. So if you look at it, the exhaust outlets are symmetrical, but this is interesting. The exhaust now points down. So there's only one exhaust, but these inserts in the bumper now remain and it looks sort of balanced left and right. The Hector Plus, it also gets the smart swipe. So you kick under the bumper and the boot opens. Now earlier, the Hector had a huge boot, but the big difference with the Hector Plus is it has a third row of seats and that eats into the boot space, but obviously the third row is more important. So you get this small boot, which is good enough for maybe a weekend soft bag, but that's about it. Like I said, electric tailgate. And now let's check out the important thing on the Hector Plus, the captain seats in the middle row. So these are the captain seats in the middle row. They adjust, so you have a lot of space. Now this front seat, the driver seat has been adjusted to my driving style and there is still so much of free knee room. There is fair bit of headroom. There's a good amount of shoulder room. There's a lot of space between the two seats to put your laptop bag or whatever. This is a spacious, airy cabin. If you want to be driven around in, this is great. It gets armrests. Now we'll check out the third row. MG insists that the third row is for children, not for full grown adults. But let's see how easy it is to get up there. Obviously, you have to slide this out. So this is still okay. Let's see how much space is there at the back. So this is the third row. Well, not all that spacious to be honest. MG is right when they say that the third row is for children. So they say that the Hector Plus is for four adults and two children and obviously two children only can fit here. But you do have the convenience of a third row. So in a squeeze, when you have to take somebody, you can put them out here and then take them to the airport or to the railway station and throw them out there. But this is only for short distances. These captain seats are very comfortable and this is the place to be. Now let's just check it out from the front, the driver's seat. Now up front, nothing much changes, but the crucial difference is the Hector Plus gets these brown leather seats. There are these brown leather inserts on the dash and it does make the cabin look a little more premium. We'll start up the Hector Plus. It gets this massive infotainment system, which really is a high point on the Hector. A lot of apps over here. It's, come on. It's got this Ghana app, connected car features, inbuilt navigation, you can talk to the Hector. Hello MG. I'm here. Please open the sunroof. Yeah, so I don't know how many times you'll actually tell the Hector to open the sunroof, but it's a cool feature that you have out here. Now, this version is the diesel. 
it's now been upgraded to BS6 obviously and the BS6 diesel is better on NVH so it is a little more silent and less vibrations creep in it still only gets a manual gearbox no automatic if you're looking for an automatic Hector Plus you only have the petrol the manual is on the diesel the diesel it is sprightly it is quick there's no question about that it does have better NVH now because it has been upgraded to BS6 norms but this is not a driver's car this is too soft so it's not as stable not as planted as other rivals in its class but it is very comfortable sit in those back seats those captain seats and it is great to be chauffeur driven around in the city for short distances even long distances they're actually very comfortable and that's the demographic that mg are targeting with the hector plus they are targeting people who would normally go and buy the innova the innova krista so they are targeting those kind of people and for that audience actually the hector plus does make a lot of sense this fully loaded diesel with the manual gearbox 18.5 lakh rupees ex showroom so excellent pricing also great value for money great features all of that plus it does look slightly different from the hector so this should continue the good streak that mg finds itself in right now in the country we will have a full review of the hector plus on the channel very soon but to drive i'm telling you there's not much difference between the hector and the hector plus it still is soft it's still not the driver's car that you would want but it still is a great car to be driven around in Subscribe to the Evo India channel and hit the bell icon to keep pace with the thrill of driving.